Welcome back to Google Slides Essentials. Here we're going to look at linking slides for the sake of creating interactive lessons. So um, after we show you how to link your slides and some tips for that, we'll take a look at some templates that you can take away and possibly put to work for you. Okay. So to link a slide, um, you, control K is the shortcut for linking. So I'm going to hop over to my sample slides and a couple of, couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, let's say I have several slides. I have playground rules, after school options, indoor and outdoor attire. So I'm going to select playground rules and I'm going to control K, control K is hyperlink. And then I'm going to look for playground rules right here. And I'm also going to link to after school options. And if you forget the uh, control K, there's always the hyperlink option up here, insert link. And I'm going to go to the slide after school options. Okay, so that's how you can link to other slides. The second thing I want to uh, draw your attention to is let's say that somebody does click on that and they end up here. How do they get back home? Let's say you want to bring them back to the home page, or maybe you want them to bring them back to this page. Well, maybe, just maybe, you can make the logo go click be a clickable link, or you could put a home button on, but in this case, we'll link our school logo to come back to the table of contents on every page. Remember how to do that? You do that by editing the theme. So I'm going to click on slide, choose edit theme, and then I'm going to go and select the logo and I'm going to click on, let's remove it so we can click on the link and we'll bring it to, uh, let's go to slides in this presentation and we'll bring it to the table of contents. Okay. So now we'll go back and let's view our slideshow. So I go to the next one and I'm like, Oh, I want to see what after school options are. I read about it. And then this could say back home and then it could bring me here. So that's how you can create back and forth interactive slides. Well, how can you use those in the classroom? Well, here's a couple of templates not just examples, but actually plug and play, grab and go templates that you can take and use with you. So um, here is the interactive slides lesson that you can review. So if I click on this link, you can see that here's a lesson that has uh, audio that we've used vocaroo.com to add to. And this is an example of a consolidated lesson plan integrating just a simple slide with a room background, adding a few elements uh, using Bitmoji. You don't have to, but if you use Bitmoji, you can put your Bitmoji in there. And then you have a variety of slides. So you can create, if you wanted to package up every unit of instruction for the whole year using this concept, you could. Um, so in this case, we have a link to read and respond. And it says, read the study guide and respond to the questions in class. And here's the link to please read. And that takes me to um, the study guide. And I'm asked to read that. And then I go back home by clicking on home, review. There's my vocabulary, back home, interactive practice. Oh, lots of different practice. There's a Kahoot, really? So I click on that. It brings me to the Kahoot that I can play. Um, go back home. Oh, there's a little cat. It's really cute. Uh, interactive practice, we just did that. Watch and learn. So this is all videos about the topic that I'm teaching. So a lot of videos that can be used as resources. And um, to appeal to humor and those that love music, you can have a couple of songs on your topic. In this case, I'm teaching differentiated instruction. So I added some fun videos for that, which I will not play for you right now. However, you can go through and and look at that at any given point in time. If you like this idea and you think you'd like to develop something like this, I've created a template. You just click on the bit.ly slash slides for classroom, and it will bring you to the template where you can click on use this template and start modifying it with your own um, items.
The second thing you might want to look at is how can students demonstrate understanding by creating their own if this then that adventure. So I use the example here. Um, this is an if this then that adventure about uh, viruses. So it's from health class. So if I open it up, you'll see that um, I've got an if this then that ice cream virus adventure. You walk in an ice cream shop, you have a choice between three flavors, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, which do you choose? So the person, this is the interactive piece, has the option of picking one of these options. So if I were to select strawberry, it's going to have linked to this slide. Oopsies, you have E. coli. Now what do you do? And so now I have to pick an option. Do I take antibiotics or do I drink fluids? And I have to pick one. Uh-oh, you chose poorly, restart. So that's how the if this then that adventure works. If I go to chocolate, I get something different and I have to pick an option to see what I should take. And it looks like I'm on the right roll. Uh, and then I get some more feedback. So I'll let you go through those um, to peruse. And then if you want to, you can click on bit.ly slash slide adventure and you can take the template and you can get started. Maybe share this with your students and say, OK, you have to edit the template so it's you know you have to mod you have to modify the design so it's your design and then save it to the template gallery and then create your if this then that adventure lots of ideas all done with the simple linking of the slides um, in the next tutorial we're getting toward the end of our google slides essentials we're going to be taking a look at using the gutter for other interactive activities